Expressing your emotions or opinions and giving recommendations in Spanish using the subjunctive mood and impersonal expressions is going to make you sound like a pro. So make sure to stick around. Hola, soy Lourdes, Spanish teacher and brand ambassador for Spanish 55. I am in beautiful and sunny Mexico City, so you might hear the birds chirping. I am back for another video in the subjunctive mood series. Today we will be talking about the I in weirdo, and I'm not talking about me. As you may remember from this video with brand ambassador Andrea, we may use the acronym weirdo to remember when to use the subjunctive. Here the W stands for wishes, E for emotions, I for impersonal expressions, R for recommendations or request, D for doubt, and O for ojalá. You may have noticed that in Spanish we begin a lot of our statements with expressions such as es necesario, it is necessary, o es probable, it is probable. Did you know that these are called impersonal expressions and that in many circumstances they will trigger the subjunctive? Impersonal expressions, like the name suggests, do not tie to a specific subject or person, rather to an impersonal pronoun, like it in English. It is important, or es importante, is an impersonal expression because it does not specify who thinks that something is of importance. Some other impersonal expressions are es absurdo, it is absurd, es preferible, it is preferable, es cierto, it is true, o es obvio, it is obvious. The basic construction for an impersonal expression is the following. Es or it is más adjetivo or adjective. So how do we know if they are followed by the subjunctive or not? Let's look at a couple examples and try and figure it out together. Recuerda, we use the subjunctive to convey uncertainty or subjectivity. It is usually triggered by the use of the conjunction que and the change of subject between main clause and subordinate clause. If you want to learn more about this or how to conjugate in the present subjunctive, make sure to check out the previous videos in this series. Now, pay close attention to the following sentences. Es importante leer las noticias. Es importante que leas las noticias. Es cierto que es importante leer las noticias. No es cierto que sea importante leer las noticias. Let's look at the examples closely. First we have, es importante leer las noticias. It is important to read the news. Here, the impersonal expression es importante is followed by the present indicative of the verb leer. But if we look at the next example, es importante que leas las noticias, it is important that you read the news, the same impersonal expression is followed by the present subjunctive. But what else do you notice that's different? Good. We added the conjunction que, and there is a reference to a specific subject or person in the subordinate clause. Es importante que tú leas las noticias. So from this, we can begin constructing our basic rule. If the impersonal expression is followed by the conjunction que, and there is a reference to a specific subject in the subordinate clause, it will trigger the subjunctive. So, for example, Es fantástico que viajemos tanto. It is fantastic that we travel so much. Es preferible que llegues temprano. It is preferable that you arrive early. 
Some other impersonal expressions that will be followed by the subjunctive are Es extraño que Es bueno que Es interesante que Es lógico que But as always, there is an exception to this rule. Regardless of if the impersonal expression is followed by the conjunction que or if there is a reference to a specific subject in the subordinate clause, if the adjective in the impersonal expression conveys certainty or a truth, it will be followed by the indicative, unless it is negated. Let's look at the remaining two examples. Es cierto que es importante leer las noticias. Here, the impersonal expression es cierto conveys that we know this to be true. Therefore, it is followed by the indicative. It is true that reading the news is important. However, if we negate this statement, it will be followed by the subjunctive. No es cierto que sea importante leer las noticias. It is not true that it is important to read the news. Some other adjectives that will be subject to this rule are claro, obvio, seguro, and verdad. Let's look at other examples. Es verdad que el español es fácil. O no es verdad que el español sea difícil. This is what you will be saying if you study Spanish with us. Our team of coaches at Spanish 55 is ready to help you create a personalized plan to achieve your specific goals. So make sure to check out the link in the description to book a free consultation today. If you like this video, give it a big me gusta, subscribe to our channel, and come back for more. Make sure to leave a comment with any questions that you may have or suggestions about what we should study next. Hasta la próxima!